I'm Nancy Friedrich, editor of Microwaves and Art magazine. I'm speaking to you today from the show floor at this year's MTCS show in San Francisco, California. The exhibit floor has been bustling since it opened at 9 a.m. this morning. It looks like a great number of attendees, easily over 10,000. There have been a lot of exciting new products announced at this show, and we're hoping to show you some of those tomorrow. There also are a ton of events for attendees to choose from. One of them that we'd like to highlight today is the birth anniversary of James Clark Maxwell. Jim Rodeo from Sonnet Software is doing the presentation on Maxwell tonight. Jim is here with us today to tell you a bit about this, the life and times of this true microwave legend. Jim? Thank you, Nancy. Uh, back when I first started working in Applied Numerical Electromagnetics in 1983, I started wondering about who this Maxwell fellow was, and I started taking essentially field trips as a tourist into the field of history and finding out things about Maxwell as we go along. One of the things I found out was that he is considered the equal of Newton and Einstein, but he's very little known. So I started uh, finding things like a biography of Maxwell written by someone who was a lifelong friend of Maxwell. It's a rare book, only in the rare book libraries. I scanned the entire biography and put it in a PDF and uh, started researching uh, Maxwell from there. And my wife, uh, uh, actually at the MTT show last year, noticed that Maxwell's birthday, his 175th birthday, falls on exactly the same day as Maxwell's, as the first day of the MTT symposium. So we got, uh, we decided this is too good to let pass. We were going to have a birthday party for him. And so we're having a birthday party birth anniversary party for James Clark Maxwell tonight, his 175th birth anniversary at the Marriott Hotel. Uh, part of the party, we're handing out this CD, this card and CD. The CD has the PDF of the entire uh, Maxwell biography, as well as uh, a test, for example, that Maxwell took at Cambridge University. And uh, you could take the test if you want as well. It's also downloadable from our website at sonnetsoftware.com. We'll be going over many things about Maxwell's life, including his childhood, where he grew up, the tragedy he experienced at eight years old, uh, how he uh, got his first job as a professor, how he was fired from that job. We discuss a little bit about Maxwell's equations even, although there are no equations in the presentation. For example, Maxwell never actually saw what today we call Maxwell's equations. And we'll explain why. And, and uh, why what his what his most important contribution was, which was not Maxwell's equations themselves, and was not even the displacement current that goes the term that he put into Maxwell's equations, but rather is the con the abstract concept of a field, which we will uh, discuss in Maxwell's in, in the in the Maxwell presentation. Uh, that's tonight. Uh, we're hoping to have a real good time. Wish you could be here. give you some tidbit of what's going on at this year's show. Like I said, we're going to bring you more tomorrow, some product news. I'd like to thank Jim. Please go to Sonnet and download the disc to learn more about James Clark Maxwell and visit the MTS show site to see what else you miss. Bye-bye.